Get ready to uh, play, Ernie. Let's get ready to play. We've been waiting for basketball to come oh, back. Do it. Get ready to play. And it is in Orlando. Tell, tell him, Kenny, now. Go ahead, Ernie. Pelican. <laughs> Jazz. Go ahead, Ernie. <laughs> this is his first professional basketball game the whole country has waited for. You know, he's a, a very competitive player, and I'm a very competitive player. We go to play for North Carolina at the 45, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is back. Uh, I don't know how many minutes I'm going to get, but whatever it is, it'll be special. And here comes Magic. Both teams a little slow in leaving the bench. It's almost like, you know, who's going to be the first in the ring? The wait is over. All eyes are on Orlando, Florida for this historic NBA restart 141 days since the last regular season game. Tonight, a season unlike any other resumes. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. We tip things off with the Utah Jazz and the New Orleans Pelicans from the HP Fieldhouse. And welcome, everybody. Ian Eagle, Stan Van Gundy, Chris Haynes joins us on the sidelines, the rest of our NBA on TNT crew. We're here. It's real. It's happening amidst unprecedented circumstances. The NBA produced an ambitious plan. And Stan, this is the first of 88 seeding games, the eventual goal to crown an NBA champion here in Orlando. But what the NBA is doing here is incredible. I mean, in the middle of a global pandemic, they created an atmosphere where you could bring in 22 teams, keep everybody safe, and give us a chance to play and watch high-level NBA basketball. I've been waiting to say this. Let's check out the starting lineups. Why don't we? Starting lineups presented by Kia for the Utah Jazz. O'Neal, Ingles, Gobert, Mitchell, and Conley. For New Orleans, Ingram, yes, Zion Williamson is starting. He is in the lineup for Alvin Gentry's squad. Favors, Holiday, and Ball, the rest of the starting five. And Zion Williamson, questions as to whether or not he would be a part of this. He was forced to leave the NBA campus, a family emergency. He returned, he cleared quarantine. Then there were questions whether or not physically he would be able to go. He's in there, Stan. He is, and they've got a good plan, I think, as Chris talked about earlier, is they're going to play him in short bursts. I think one of the things you don't want guys to do in this situation, Ian, is to pace themselves on the floor to try to get more minutes. So they're going to play him in short bursts so he can go hard. When he gets tired, they'll take him out, get him a blow, and get him back in the game. Virtual fans are in attendance, presented by Microsoft. Do you think a player can talk smack with a virtual fan, or that's not going to happen? Well, you know what? If anybody can figure out how to do that, it'll be the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz and Pelicans, we are set to go here in Orlando. Zach Zarba, Michael Smith, James Williams, our officiating crew. Incredible that we've gotten to this moment. It really is. I mean, you know, even when the NBA announced plans to do it, you know, you sort of didn't know, are they going to be able to pull it off? And here we are, the ball's up. And the NBA 